What's going on, everybody? Um, YouTube fam, what's good? It's uh, TK. Um, it's uh, my monthly install for a um, for uh, Full Sail University. I just finished Principles of Music class. Um, good class. This one was a tough one for me, as um, you know, I am new, totally a beginner at um, at the in the music industry. So this was a, this was a very interesting class, well needed, but um, a lot of work, and um, I got a lot out of it, thank God. But it was tough. So before I dive into the class, um, I want to you know talk about the Vogue Rehab program. So I'm a um, seventy percent disabled veteran using a Vogue Rehab. So I got an email last week from my counselor. Um, so apparently. That counselor is moving on, and I'm getting another counselor. So, mind you, this is my fourth class for the university, and I'm on my third counselor. And um, I, you know, it's the VA, man. I, you know, I really don't know what to make of it. So, uh, the counselor I had before, you know, so like I said, sent me an email last week saying I'm getting another counselor who I've yet to hear from. So. Um, I don't know how this going to work out. We'll see. Um, Money-wise, the money's coming on time every month. Um, I'm, you know, I'm certified, and all the financial stuff has been uh, pretty well taken care of. My only, like, uh, you know, I don't want to say complaint, but it's like, you know, in my fourth class, I'm going to my third counselor. I, you know, I don't hear from the people, so um, I really don't know what to make of it. So, but. Again, I'm happy and I'm very thankful that I that I'm able to use the Vogue Rehab. So, that being said, if um, anybody else is uh, using the Vogue Rehab and you know if you're having the same experience or a different experience, please let me know. Uh, put something down in the comments. Um, you know, we need to link up and we need to kind of band together because um, I mean I know I'm not the only um, veteran going to full cell using the Vogue Rehab. I mean. I've had some people in the comments uh, hit me up saying that they're using the Vogue Rehab or if they've been approved for it. So, you know, let your boy know what's, what you know what your experiences have been. Um, I'm looking a little bit rough right now. Um, I, you know, again, I'm I'm, I'm battling, uh, you know, trying to fight off the demons, and uh, it was it's been a it's been a rough day, man. Um, it seems like every day I get up, man, and I had a, I had a talk with uh, with a good friend of mine, and uh, you know, he mentioned something to me that made like made really a, you know a lot of sense it's like you know we create our realities and we have to watch our words and you know take heed over our, our words what we said so you know we had a conversation and um a lot of times i was saying like you know like you know like like what's next or you know like you know like you know every time i take a step forward i take two steps back so i got to get out of that mind frame because i think i'm i'm creating a um like a like a negative cloud around myself and uh, i'm trying to i'm trying to really break free of that but it's, it's been very difficult so anywho so the uh, principles of music um the class in a nutshell was we basically were learning so we did a lot we learned about uh piano chords chord progressions um melodies rhythms uh we learned how to listen to songs so like i never you know i never really knew how to listen to a song so you'll learn how to like you know do the count like there's two different counts there's the one two three four and there's the one and two and three and four two and two and three and four three two three four um but i think the the problem that i had was learning the chord progression i mean i love i've had some training with the piano but um learning the chords and the chord progressions have been really hard and uh you know, full cell. Um, you know, like again, I heard from my professor once this whole month. Um, we finished last week. I'm, you know, thank God we're on spring break this week. But you know, again, the trend continues. Haven't had a, you know, haven't had my 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 final grade yet from the class and some of the projects. You know, uh, you know, like I got graded for my week one project and week three, and. Um, you know, one of the projects in week two, I got a, I just got the grade this week and I got like a 75 on it. I'm like, bruh, like, like, you know, and, you know, he, like the pressure that I had, like, you know, like he has a matrix and stuff and it, and it breaks it down. But, and I'm, I'm, 
I'm like, man, like I, I need, I need some communication. Like I'm a communicator. Like you know, like let, let, let's talk about this. So the one good thing uh, about taking this principal of new class, they have a helpline from five to nine, East Coast time. Uh, I'm on the East Coast, so that was perfect. I use that at least at a minimum, like once, twice a week, and it's very helpful. I mean, you go in uh, via Zoom, and you, you're able to talk to uh, one of the professors or you know, or somebody from the school and very knowledgeable so they really helped me like with my projects and helped me learn um, the core progressions which uh, again like I did a lot of uh, self-study outside of the class just because like I want to learn how to play the keyboard and like you know that's something that's always fascinated me so um, so you're gonna learn not only the chords and chord progressions you're gonna learn like how to do melodies uh, and then You'll learn how to do us uh, uh, what they call song charting. I, sorry, I wrote some notes down. So um, you know that was pretty good. Like you know, like we had to do. Like, I think week one or week two projects was like you had to actually chart a song. So like they have a song, you dip it into the Logic uh, Logic Pro X, and then you uh, you have to like actually listen to the whole song. It's like maybe three minutes, twenty twenty five seconds, and you have to decipher um, intro, verse, uh, pre chorus, chorus, verse chorus um if it's a bridge or not uh, another pre-chorus chorus and outro and then you have to figure out like if it's you know four bars eight bars or 16 bars which that project for me was very hard because again i'm 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 trying to tune my ears and how to listen to songs and i never knew there was like intros and pre-choruses and choruses and the bridge so now that i'm you know actually starting to learn that in you know like, like seeing how it was mapped out was really good. So, and then um, the biggest thing was with the chorus. So for like a major chord, it's it's whole whole half, whole 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 half. And so one thing that I learned on the keyboard is uh, so you have the black keys and you have the white keys. So um, the professor that gave us our lectures every week was really smart and the guy was a genius. So if you look at the keyboard. You have a white key, then you have the black key. So uh, the key to the left of the two. So like if you look at the uh, keyboard, there's two keys. The key to the left of the two keys is a C. And then you have the three black keys and the key to the left. The white key to the left of that is, is your F. So the keyboard is, you know, C, D. Um, so C, D, E, F, G. And then after G, it goes in A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, you know, those are the seven letters that you have on the keyboard. So that's the stuff that you're going to learn in the principles of music. So to, uh, to do your count, going from one white key to the next white key is a whole step. But then you have to factor in, like, the black key. So, like, if you're all the way on the, it doesn't matter if you're on the 25 uh, key, 66 or 80 or 88 key. If you're starting all the way flush to the left, that's, like, the low C. So like from that C to the first black, um, which would be your C sharp, that's a half a step. So they're gonna give you um, a key like a like like a like a form. So I wrote it down, and it tells you like you know how many half steps make. Um, uh, so you have your uh, another thing you're gonna learn is like your major, your minors, your diminished, and then. Uh, you know how octave is so uh, one of the uh, one of the really good things was the octave so uh, from the low C to the next C that's an octave so you have your seven uh, letters of the alphabet but it's actually eight because you go from a C to a C so within that eight keys that's one octave so every time you go up eight keys that's a different octave so no matter whatever if you're on the C or if you're on the D or F when you go to the next letter on the keyboard that's an octave so that's uh, some of the stuff you're gonna learn and then, the, you know, like a major second, you're going to learn stuff about, like, you know, what are the majors and the minor uh, chords and keys. And again, for me, I, I, I did a lot of training outside of class. I, I probably did, I don't know, a couple hours a day um, just outside of the class, just on my own because I'm not working. And, like, you know, again, I wanted to do this. Um, another thing you're going to learn is what they call a tonic, which is like the first letter of the key that you're playing in. Uh, what else did we learn in there? Um, 
like I, like I said, you're going to learn rhythms and then um, your your melodies and they'll talk about like a me melodic something or another. Then um, so uh, a chord like your C major chord is basically three keys in your whatever hand you want to play it and then your left hand. So like for me, what was got tricky was when they started talking about like your inversion. So like you'll have a C major chord, which is, you know, those three keys in the C. But then you have a first inversion and a second inversion. So I know on our test, like they 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 threw that stuff in, and it was, um, yeah, it, it tripped me up. So you know that's one thing to watch out for. So just keep that in mind. Again, um, you know if you can make the lectures, uh, there's good information. If not, you know they record the lectures, so you always have that opportunity to go back and and um, and look at them. Uh. Overall, I think that, you know, again, I got a lot out of the course. I learned a lot. I'm going to take a lot of that, you know, what I learned with me. But again, like I did a lot of um, outside of the class training. And then on, on the, for this class, we have uh, a test every week. So uh, you get two chances to take the test and they take the higher grade of the test that you've taken. So um, I think there was like maybe the first week I only took the test once because I got 100 on it. And then from there on, it was a struggle. I was getting like 70s and 80s, and then I would retest, and then I would like call the help desk. They would help me, then I would get the higher grade. So that was again, that five to nine help desk was was my lifeline because without them, I would have I would have took a hit on this class. I mean, I, you know, I struggled on this one. I mean, you know, this you know learning the, learning these chords and and um and the music is like. You know, especially when you start getting to the inversions, and it's like, like I got to see, I got to see major down finally. Then it's like, boom, they threw like, okay, so you got to see major. So now we're gonna do the first and second inversion of that. It's like, <laughs> but I'm I'm happy they're putting us through this because, um, you know, you're gonna need to, you know, you're gonna need to learn that stuff. And so, um, another big component of the class is um, industry terminology. So I'm doing an internship in a, in a in a professional studio. So one thing that I can say with, with Full Cell is um like we learn the vocabulary. So like you know I was in the studio today and um you know like I can really follow the conversation when they're talking about hey like punch me in here or you know like you know what you know, like play the song in a in a um, one five three or you know play that in a C major. So now like it's starting to you know it's starting to click for me. And all because, like, you know, I'm going through these classes with full cell. So, I mean, that's one good thing. And then, like, you know, there's a uh, there's a Facebook group, um, full cell. And so there's, like, alumni and all the students, not just in, like, audio production or music production, but you have, like, people in films. And that one right there, um, I suggest join that uh, Facebook group because, like, they post jobs up there sometimes. You can uh, really connect with people. Uh, different, you know, like people are looking for photographers, for, for music producers, for artists, and all kind of stuff. So there's a wealth of information on that on, on that Facebook group. And then they have a Discord also. So um, I, I'm, I'm not really um, following a Discord because um, I got into the NFT game and I'm just getting every day like hundreds and hundreds of Discord messages. And it's, just, it's hard for me to, you know, to honestly keep up. So that's why I like the Facebook group a little bit better. And then uh, I wanted, well, I want to start a uh, like a veterans community on Facebook. Um, one of uh, you know, outside of class, I'm 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 teaching myself like how to do a web design. I'm trying to become a freelancer and I'm trying to I'm trying to look at some different avenues on uh, generate some income. But again, um, this was a good class. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. So um, you know, waiting. Waiting for the next class to come along, man, and um, just you know, I'll keep trucking, try to maintain this uh, 4.0 GPA. But again, uh, principles of music was uh, for me at least was a uh, you know I had I had to put some work in, so be prepared to work. But overall, the class was really good. I mean, I got so much out of the class, and um, I felt like musically, I'm 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 like you know, I was a you know had no knowledge, but now like I'm you know. I'm not a I'm not a beginner, but you know I'm not an intermediate either. I'm like kind of in between, so I'm gonna get there, you know. But you gotta want it for yourself too. So like you gotta put the time in outside of class. I mean, it is what it is. So, but uh, 
you know, I love how they have the um, program set up and they're taking us, you know, these classes are, you know, every class is building off the, off the previous class. And one of the things that I found out is, um, you know, like that we, we have a lot more software that, <clears throat> that, I, that we're not using, excuse me, but, uh, and I was messing around on a computer the other day and uh, found some other stuff that that we have. Excuse me. It's still getting dry. I got this uh, instant burning over here. But anyway, <clears throat> thanks for your time. Um, again, if anybody's watching these, getting any benefits, give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. I'm also uh, launching my, my uh, blog, our vlog off of this channel. It's called I Love You Daddy. And uh, that particular avenue that I'm uh, branching off into is I had a podcast called I Love You Daddy. And it's just uh, my life as a uh, single divorced father uh, dealing with mental, mental health issues and my daily struggles. And um, so um, I did a, a prelude video. And so like my video this week, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about, but I got several different topics. So uh, I'm going to put something out this week. Uh, today's Tuesday. Uh, what is it? March 29th, 2022. So by the week's end, I'll have my um, my my official uh, first episode of I Love You Daddy out on, on, on the channel, too. So check me out over there on that one. Uh, also, if you're on my page and you see this, uh, please check out my man. Uh, his name is Bo uh, DC Born Rob or Rob Christian. I want to put um, a link to his page on, 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 on my video. Uh, brother is man i love this dude he has really good videos um about travel get your passport get out go see the world um and uh, rob videos uh talks um just in depth about different places uh mainly about colombia medellin but also you know like you know south america asia um around here in the states and stuff so please please go check him out and um if you're down in colombia medellin go check out my other boy his name is also Rob. He owns uh, Sweet George's Cafe. Um, that's the that's the meet and greet spot right there. So anyway, <clears throat> thanks again for listening. Um, you know, coming to check out my videos. You got any questions? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Let's chop it up. Have a good night. Peace out.